I don't know where you're at today, but I know in the midst of this pandemic and with the numbers going up that our hearts get heavy. I know a lot of people that have been infected. We have loved ones that have passed away during this season, yet God still is our shepherd. And so I want to remind you of Psalm 23. Maybe, maybe you're going through a season right now where you need to be reminded. I know when I read this the other day, it really hit home for me, and I, I hope it encourages you and empowers you to become the person that God's designed you to be. I pray that it gives you peace in the midst of the storm. This is what it says. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Think about those words for a moment. Let those sink in. That the, the God of the heavens is your shepherd. And because you have God with you, you lack nothing. There, there's nothing that you lack. He has given you everything you need for today. The next part says this, He makes me lie down in green pastures. So God is going to give you a place to restore you, to have you connect, to just give you rest, to say, look, you need to lie down. He's protecting you from the storms that are coming by inviting you to be in his presence, to be in his flock, to be a part of his team. He leads me beside quiet waters. Is in the midst of the storms, he says, look, I wanna take you down a path that's quiet. I wanna take you down a path that reminds you that I am with you, that I'm your shepherd, that I'm going to guide you. The next part says, he refreshes my soul. That God, wouldn't that be great if just today, you felt God's refreshing on your soul, that his spirit just refreshes your entire being and just gives you that peace that transcends all understanding. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Remember, it's his name that we're glorifying. It's his name that we have the opportunity to magnify, to lift up today. Then it says this, even though I walk through the darkest valley. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Listen, friends, wherever you're at, even if it's in the darkest valley, remember that those are just shadows. Those aren't, the reality isn't that you're going to die in the valley. The reality is you're in a dark season but God is with you in the midst of the darkness and God is the light of the world. He will give you the next step to take in the midst of the darkest hour. The next part says this, it says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God wants to anoint you. He wants to bring you around his table and just say, let's eat together. Let's celebrate together. Let me pour into you. Let me speak to you. Let me be your shepherd that cares for your soul. You know what's amazing to me about these passages is, is I took some, some notes. Listen to this. I lack nothing. I have more than enough, in other words, right? When it talks about he makes me lie down, why? Because he wants to bring safety, rest, restoration. But watch what God does. God is the one that leads. God is the one that refreshes. God is the one that guides. God is the one who comforts. God is the one who prepares a table. God is the one who anoints your head. God is the one that makes your cup overflow. It is his goodness and his love that follows us every day single day, every moment of our life, because we dwell in his house forever. I hope that you will take time to just let Psalm 23 sink into your soul. Maybe just take a moment right now and just turn everything off. Just enjoy this moment and let God speak into your life. It's in the stillness that we could hear his voice. So be still and know that he's God.